I received a question recently about iron from a 62-year-old woman who was told that she had low iron levels and that she should take some iron supplements to replace them. And is that a good idea? Uh, the answer really is not so fast. Uh, certainly iron is very important. Uh, it's an element in the earth that is uh, found in our essential hemoglobin molecule that carries oxygen for us. And so you want to have the right amount of iron. But too much iron can really hurt us. It's an oxidizing agent, if you think about how iron rusts in the bumper of your car. Uh, well, too much iron can damage blood vessels and set people up for strokes and may even uh, drive cancer growth. And for that reason, uh, we have to look at why she's low in iron and what kind of iron might be used to replace it. Very importantly, to find out why she's low in iron. Iron deficiency is a symptom, and the most feared cause of it is that she's bleeding somewhere. Uh, before we just assume that, well, she's a vegan and doesn't need very much iron, which is not true. We'll talk about that in a second. The question is, is she bleeding? Uh, there can be silent blood loss. She may have a, an ulcer high up in her gastrointestinal tract and she's oozing blood into her stool and not even seeing it. And even more scary is to have a silent colon cancer, again, that's oozing blood into the stool, uh, quietly making her bleed, but it's mixing with the stool. You don't see it. It's called occult blood. And for that reason, before any question of iron supplementation is considered. Find out if she is bleeding. And so she should go to her family doctor, uh, who should do a, a thorough examination, take a good history, uh, check her stool for hidden blood, and most likely send her to uh, someone who can do a colonoscopy, check out her colon, make sure that there's no polyp in there that's malignant or pre-malignant uh, that's oozing blood into the stool and causing the underlying malignancy. So rule out hidden blood loss, and that's true for men as well. And it could be something like a bleeding hemorrhoid, something that's fundamentally benign, but you sure don't want to overlook those uh, quiet cancers. And for that reason, before you just take an iron supplement, check out sources of possible blood loss. Now, if it turns out that she's not bleeding anywhere and that her diet has been low in iron, most important thing is to increase the iron uh, in her diet. And uh, that comes in two forms. The red meat eaters will say, well, there's lots of iron in red meat and she should be eating uh, steaks and that's why she's low in iron. Uh, well, the truth is that, yes, there's no question that animals take the iron in their diet and uh, turn into what's called heme iron, and it's what makes blood red. But there's a problem. Yes, the, that iron is absorbed, but it's absorbed too vigorously. Uh, the body has no way of controlling how much heme iron comes into the blood. Uh, and into the body uh, through the food. Uh, we don't have a valve to limit iron absorption from heme iron. And our red meat eating friends set themselves up for what's called iron overload. And they can saturate their tissues with iron because unless you are a woman of reproductive age who's losing iron every month in the menstrual flow, we've got no way to get rid of iron. Certainly us guys don't. And women who are postmenopausal don't have an easy way to get rid of iron either. And so the folks eating heme iron uh, certainly put themselves at risk for iron overload and the increased risk of stroke, etc. that can come from that. Much better is to eat the iron in the form of the whole plant foods, which the rest of our digestive system is well set up to handle. And the beauty of that is that our intestinal tract certainly has an ability to regulate how much of the non-heme iron, the, the iron is coming in in the form of plant uh, substances. Now we can, uh, th through our intestinal membrane, limit uh, that amount of iron that's coming in. So the important thing is to get your iron from plant-based sources. And there's lots of iron available, uh, certainly in dark green leafy vegetables, as Popeye reminds us as he uh, gulps down his can of spinach and, dun -dun -dun, and gets strong from it because of the iron in there, supposedly. But it's a reminder that dark green leafy vegetables certainly have iron, uh, but so do whole grains, so do all the legumes, chickpeas, beans, lentils, 
uh, uh, dried fruits, dried apricots, dried raisins certainly have iron. Uh, and nuts and seeds of all types are also rich in iron. So there's plenty of iron available in whole plant foods. Now, the one issue, however, is absorption. Uh, iron's a tough mineral to absorb. Uh, no matter how much you eat, only about 1% of the iron actually makes it into the bloodstream. But the good news is we can increase that uh, with the addition of vitamin C. Uh, does that mean that we're supposed to take a vitamin C tablet when we when we eat our raisins? No. Uh, but what that means is that the natural vitamin C sources, such as the uh, that found in citrus fruits, uh, can be used to advantage. If you've got a big plate of kale or broccoli sitting in front of you, you can increase the absorption of the iron in that uh, green vegetable uh, by squeezing lemon juice over it. Uh, if you're going to be making a spinach salad, put some mandarin orange slices in there. Get that citrus and greens combination going, uh, and that will increase the iron that you absorb uh, and uh, help overcome any iron deficiency. So, uh, first thing to do before you reach for those uh, iron tablets, which I don't think is a good idea, save that only if you've got a serious problem. Um, if you, say, have had Crohn's disease and uh, you've had the part of the intestine that absorbs iron surgically removed, then you may have to take some uh, official iron supplements. Even so, there are liquid vitamin uh, iron supplements like Floridex. I have no connection with that company, uh, but it's basically uh, extract of prunes and figs and raisins and high iron foods. Uh, a tablespoon of that daily certainly will increase your iron intake. But long before you get to that stage, one, talk to your doctor, make sure you are not bleeding anywhere. And you may say, well, I don't see any blood in my stool. Uh, the blood is mixed in with the stool. It's called occult blood. There's a simple test you can use uh, to check to see if you have uh, any occult blood in your stool. So talk to your doctor, rule out signs and symptoms of hidden blood loss. And if that's been ruled out, uh, then uh, start eating more iron-containing foods uh, and add some vitamin C in the form of citrus or some other high vitamin C containing foods, uh, bell peppers, a nice thing to uh, put in with your greens. And that will increase the amount of iron that you uh, will be absorbing. And then get your iron levels checked uh, in a few months and see uh, the, if the iron deficiency has been corrected uh, through these natural means. Dr. Michael Clapper here, and I want to thank you for visiting my channel and for watching this video. I've got a lot more content that I'm creating to answer health-related questions for you, my viewers. So please uh, subscribe to my channel down here. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and comment on it. Thanks for helping to spread the word about the power of whole food plant-based nutrition to heal both people and the planet.